ain't knuckles on the wheel No cars around here Driving and coming down after the show Well I sit there in silence Aching from the mileage Drifting on the wind, no radio I never thought it'd come to this Running on fumes and clenched fist I never thought I'd live Live to love Love the silence I think back on those days when time was just a number A big and a little hand on a face And now the order that I get The louder that clock ticks So I turn my life up until it fades And the ringing in my ears From the speakers and the squeals Remind me I'm not alone. Me and Ron met each other uh, in Wilmington, North Carolina, about, I would say probably 12 years ago now. We, we, we were double booked for the same gig, and uh, we both showed up. I, I believe I got there first and was already set up. I see him coming in, lugging his gear in. And I'm like, oh, what's, what's going on? And I we had known of each other, but ne never actually met. So it was our first time meeting. I'm like, well, man, you know, I'm already set up, but I guess the only real fair way to do this is to, uh, hey, let's just play the gig together and we'll split the money and then, you know, go, go our separate ways. But uh, the gig, we just, we just kind of found this rhythm and we started kind of harmonizing with each other during that first show and we were like, so we just started hanging out after that and that was actually like the beginning of A Few Good Liars. It was the duo part of it. And we met Richard a couple years later and uh, then went down to Oxford, Mississippi and made an album in 2011 called Battered Wooden Body. <laughs> the love, the silence. Never thought I'd live. I think for the most part, we, we would, you know, write our own songs and kind of um, let, you know, give each other feedback on, on the songs um, and you know where there was, you know things what we were we were unsure of. We would I would always call Travis because I trusted him and uh, we you know uh, and I think he was the same way with me. He'd call me for for advice about songs and um, so yeah I think uh, we didn't do too much writing together. Uh, there were there were some I can't I'm not even sure that there's any that we actually started playing out that we wrote together, but there were several that we shelved, I think. We should probably break them out. Right outside my window, saddest bird that you ever did see. I used to whistle at like that mockingbird, and he would whistle right back at me. Pretty soon those happy days, they turned dark when she went away. Now I don't have a happy song, and that bird won't fly away, won't fly now. Clementine left me behind. I seen the blues, sip the booze, and I weep. Well, I've been howling at the moon. And my confess been howling with me, singing Clementine's doing mighty fine since she dished an old crook like me. She used to stand up in the front row, she knew the words to every song I sang. She got tired of the juke light, the late nights and the bright lights. Just me and a mockingbird. Road with a busted wing Just me and the saddest bird This side of the Mississippi I think what's, what's made this trip special uh, 
is uh, Travis and I both we've we've uh, cleaned up our act, uh, so to speak, and uh, we're just uh, we're we're seeing the world through different glasses now. We don't we don't get a chance to play together at all, really. Um, uh, I, I went to Wilmington about three months ago, and we did some shows, and that was the first. The first time we'd played together in probably seven years or so. We kind of felt like we were cut from the same cloth. It, it felt very familiar to play with them, even though like we had just met each other that night. Once we kind of got going through in like the middle of the gig, we just kind of, it just kind of, we were looking at each other like, it, this kind of works, the kind of way we both kind of chop out the acoustic guitar and like kind of give it a backbeat to, to kind of hold, hold a crowd, that type of thing. We both did a similar type thing and uh, we both love vocal harmonies. And so I just started picking up on harmonies, uh, harmony lines of songs that when, that first night when I met him. And uh, he did the same for me and then by the end of the night we were kind of just like, this just feels real natural, like, you want to hang out? And that's, that was the beginning of it. Just me and a mockingbird, bold with a busted wing. Just me and a saddest bird, this side of the Mississippi. My wife and I moved to Wilmington, I think it was uh, 2007, and uh, let's see, by that time I got uh, rheumatoid arthritis in 93, you know, and had been a guitar player for, you know, my whole childhood up until that point. And, uh, I, you know, I, I thought I was done, you know, as a musician, but uh, I started playing the dobro, and uh, I, a friend of a friend introduced me, you know, actually, I, you know, I, I heard some music by Ron, and uh, started pestering the fellow that was playing bass with him at the time about you know hooking me up with him and so I crashed in on a gig that he was doing at, I think at a mellow mushroom in uh, Wilmington and you know at the time I had only been playing for like four years you know so uh, you know there's a steep learning curve with the dobro so uh, I had no business playing with these guys when I first started you know, and uh, they really kind of let me cut my musical teeth, you know, as far as the dobro is concerned. But that 15 minute road from the show to my front door is the only time the truth is ever told. I never thought it'd come to this. Running on fumes and clenched fist. I never thought I'd live. Live to love, love to silence. I never thought I'd live, live to love, love to silence. 